Welcome back, it is Thursday, that means acting analysis for animators, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Hulu show season one of Wu-Tang, an American saga. It's like I'm so pale, it's like the white goes into the white, into my gray, it is white, it's a ghost. I should talk about a ghost show, but anyway, let's go into those shots. All right, first up is this moment here where the mother is asking the daughter for something, and it's basically she has to step up and help uh, the family. And what I like about this is that how A, the daughter hesitates and she doesn't say anything and the reaction of the mother. And it all comes down to basically non-verbal communication where you have your lip sync and this is what you do. And you got your setup and over the shoulder and you know, one and two characters. But what I like is when no one talks, you have that moment, you have that little, she waits a little bit of a half blink, also rarely done in animation. Don't forget half blinks. And you got that little change there, she hesitates, she waits and see that uncomfortable change, you got your asymmetry in the facial shapes. But then she waits and she starts to blink even a bit more, bit of a sigh there and she gets a bit more tense, like she doesn't want to say anything. And then you have the mom just doing this and I love that. It's this and that and that's all you have. It's basically, it's not her saying, okay, so I need an answer, it's just, I'm waiting, I'm slightly annoyed, really, and it's just a raise of the eyebrow and you can see how the eyebrows are anticipating that move. It's almost like that move of the eyebrow oh, takes the head over this way. And it's just that, that waiting. It's almost like the puppy look of okay and... So she doesn't have to say anything. And you can immediately see how this actor reacts to this. That and then bam, you can see it in here. Immediately the reaction of ah, oh, okay. And then she says what, what happens and what she wants to do. But it's this awesome moment of okay, so what now? And you have even a little bit of a nod, you can see this, and boop, right there. It's very, very subtle. And I love this, it's not that much animation. Same thing here, she says her piece, and as always, lip sync doesn't have to end right there. You have that moment of, okay, long stare, just that little look down. It's all very subtle, but I love this, I love that change. The second one is again with this actress, and she is fantastic. The family dynamic in the show is really cool, and the parents are they have some really, really good moments. And it's about her not being welcome anymore. So she says her piece, and he goes, come on, I can't wait to hear your excuses. And I love all this intensity. Lots of subtle moments where there are no blinks, but you see the eye darts. It's just, it's just looking from one eye to the other. So as always, think about when do you blink? Do you want to blink? How many blinks? Do you just want to stare? And then you have her moment of a little, little blink over. It's like, oh, okay, okay, I see how this is. And again, it's the same thing where this is all non-verbal, this is all your choice. So when the lip sync ends or there's a pause, you can do all this. She kind of shuffles around, recollects, okay, I, I want to do something. And she has that inhale and then she steps closer to be more confronting. And you can see how it gets more comfortable. The negative space gets smaller, this gets bigger. It's just a bit more claustrophobic there. It's a cool usage of space as well. And then she says her piece and thinks she is done has that moment again, no blinks either. They're both in a kind of a staring contest almost. And then you have this. Oh, it's so good. Basically the line here is I know when I've worn out my welcome. And it's basically, yes, you have. You have worn out your welcome. And I love this, look at this. Let's go in there. Again, eyebrows first. That little thing of, uh-huh. With a little bit of a, a little bit of a blink, like a slight adjustment in the lids. But it's, it's just a different thing where the first head turn, it's all about context. The first head turn to the side was, well, I'm waiting for your answer. And this is a just, yeah, yeah, you're right. You are not welcome here anymore. Just go. And it's just so small and it's great. Ah, oh, that look and then she leaves. Last one is this one where it's kind of a, a setup based on the set. So you have this moment where there's a close up and again, this could be anything. This could be you doing a pantomime, this could be you doing a lip sync. But I love this that you think it's in a booth. He has the headphones, he has the microphone and you can maybe think these are soundproof panels maybe. Like you don't know where it is, I think this is cool. And then as he's done, bam, it's the reveal that he is in the shower and he even tells him, hey, aren't the acoustics really cool here? And I love that and it's something that you can think about where it's not just about animation. Yes, you show off your, your facial skills and then you can show off your body mechanics and interaction, all that stuff. But why not have something in a set where the set is the added punchline? And it's even added where it's not even, it's not the big bathroom. It's even, you have all those lines and you have even the door that, it's not that the door is open, giving you a bigger sense of space. No, it's even slightly closed, making this all even smaller and just adding to the joke of, this is actually a really, really small cramped space and not this sound booth. 
And that's again, a, a joke, a set joke on top of a potentially performance joke or whatever you want to do, or it could be something that's more dramatic, something more serious. Again, it doesn't have to be always a joke, but I like that inclusion of a set. I like that added punchline where performance is funny, but then you also have the set reveal. And speaking of reveal, I don't know if I can segue into if this is revealing things that you want to apply to your shots, I don't know. I do have workshops, so if you think this is cool and helpful, and you wanna work with me and you want me to help you with your shots, I have workshops, link in the description, you can sign up at any time. And that's it for me from the ghost hour of all white. And if you're still watching this, of course, I appreciate this that you spent all this time. And if you don't wanna miss any of my uploads, you know the drill, you can hit subscribe, you can hit that bell button and do the old notification thing, that is totally up to you but I would love it if you subscribe. And that's it for me. I will see you in my next upload.